The Asus ZenBook Duo 14 UX481 was already a stellar device when we reviewed it all the way back in 2019. As always it wasn't without its shortcomings, but no device is perfect. Now, in 2021, Asus has a new device, the UX482, which is a direct successor. And boy, have Asus done something special with it. It takes the UX481, revamps most of it, including the secondary display, and tweaks the software to make it even better for professionals. As this is a portable laptop, it doesn't bring the new H-Series Tiger Lake chips, relying on the G-Series, which is really good in its own right, delivering outstanding performance, while sparing the battery life. Today we are presenting you with Laptop Media's top 5 picks about the Asus ZenBook Duo 14 UX482. The laptop is made entirely from metal, which looks very sophisticated. Also, the quality of construction is on point with virtually no flexing to be seen from both the lid and the base. It's also pretty portable, weighing only 1.57 kg while being around 17 mm tall, slightly heavier, but slimmer than its predecessor. In terms of the design itself, the all-black color and circular pattern on the lid give it a bit of a punch. The Asus branding is really minimal, only appearing on the back of the lid, off-centered to the right. As per the name, the laptop comes with two displays. The first one has a diagonal of 15.6 inches and uses a full HD IPS panel, comfortable viewing angles, decent maximum brightness of 330 nits in the middle of the screen, and 324 nits as an average across the entire area of the screen, calculating a maximum deviation of 5%. It also comes with a really high contrast ratio of 1530 to 1. The secondary panel has a resolution of 1920h515 and a diagonal of 12.6 inches. Both panels show no PWM usage across all brightness levels. Going back to the main screen, it shows a 97% coverage of the sRGB color gamut. We tested the main display both with the factory settings, left, and with our design and gaming profile applied, right. While the color accuracy is quite good out of the box, with a Delta E value of 2.0, it becomes even better once we apply our profile, which brings the Delta E value down to 0.8. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The laptop's 70 watt hours battery unit lasted for 12 hours and 18 minutes of web browsing, 12 hours and 7 minutes of video playback, and 2 hours and a half of gameplay. As always we perform our battery tests with the Windows Better Performance setting turned on, screen brightness adjusted to 120 nits, and all other programs turned off except for the one we are testing the notebook with. The I.O., while not being rich in quantity, is rich in quality, as you get an HDMI 1.4 connector, as well as two Thunderbolt 4 connectors, both of which can be used for charging, on the left. On the right, there is a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen.1 port, an audio jack, and a micro SD card reader. First, we have to start with the unboxing experience. Inside the box, you get an Asus pen with 4096 levels of pressure, a stylish pouch that seems to be made out of leather, and a stand that lifts up the entire device. The software of the device is also greatly improved turning the secondary display into a contro panel of sorts, with savable presets for your programs. For example, in Photoshop, you can put brushes menus or color selectors, for quicker and easier access. The display is an innovation in itself, as it rises once you open the device, opening an air vent, thus giving a laptop another place to breathe from. This gets rid of the vents of the bottom, which is a relief since most of the time said vents get blocked if you have your laptop sitting in your lap. With a device this good, you have to make some sacrifices, as a manufacturer. Asus has decided to do so with the RAM, making all of it non-upgradable. All of the up to 32GB of RAM are soldered onto the motherboard. Storage-wise there is a single M.2 PCIe X4 drive. Here is our detailed teardown video, which shows how to access the M.2 slot along with the cooling for maintenance purposes. <laughs> 